launching just wrapped up. This mission management team meetings are not working on any issues right now that would prevent us from launching on time at 4.50 p.m. Eastern. Currently, the forecast has improved to a 90% chance of good weather for this afternoon launch, up from 80% the past couple of days. Launch day dawns not so unlike the preceding mornings, but this morning carries an added dose of excitement. Everything the team has worked for is about to culminate in the most thrilling experience of their lives and careers. It's usually a very sleepy morning, uh, mainly because of all the lost sleep uh, covering the RSS retract, uh, the NSF dinner that we have, uh, all the picture editing, all that stuff. Um, Usually by that point, you know, launch morning is kind of a sleepless morning, uh, but you're totally on adrenaline. Uh, you're just rolling with it. Uh, about the only time you have any time to kind of stop and relax is uh, when you're at the press site just kind of waiting for the next event. As the countdown enters the tense final hours, members of the press begin to arrive at the KSC press area. The successful documentation of this event is crucial to the goals of the team, so staking a place at the edge of the press site early on is a wise move, as this open field will soon be packed with photographers, videographers, journalists, and many others who have gathered to witness this historic event. With mobile internet devices and scanners running, the team reads and listens to the latest updates from launch controllers stationed just across the street in the massive Launch Control Center, or LCC. About four hours from liftoff, the team climbs aboard the KSC press bus, which will take them to the Operations and Checkout Building, or ONC Building, in the KSC Industrial Area just a few miles from the press site. Here, they will join dozens, or even hundreds of other media personnel and KSC workers as the mission's flight crew departs their quarters and climbs aboard the famous Astro Van. Waving goodbye to the crowd, the crew poses for photos and videos being taken by the media teams, stationed just a few short yards away. This is the last time anyone other than a few key KSC personnel will see the crew in person before their return to Earth after their mission. While some members of the team gather to see the flight crew off, others remain at the press area where they will be able to watch the Astro Van and crew drive by on their way to the launch pad. Accompanied by the complex's security helicopter and a team of armed guards, the Astro Van makes a quick stop at the LCC, allowing members of the press stationed just across the street to give the crew some final well wishes as they begin the final leg of their trip to the launch pad. Once the astronauts have departed the area, the team goes back to work verifying equipment functionality in preparation for liftoff, now about three hours away. As the final hours tick down, the media have their chances to interview mission personnel, payload preparation specialists, and even other astronauts who have gathered at the press site to see their colleagues off. Following a launch countdown on television or a webcast can be rather monotonous as there's little to see or listen to during these times. For the team on site, however, these last hours tend to fly by very quickly. Soon the moment for which everyone has waited weeks, months, or even years arrives. The passion we have, it's kind of one of those things where just being there is good enough. You know, you don't, you don't get, you don't feel bored. You just kind of there's things you do, you just, you, you're there. You're, you're living in the moment in something that not many people get to do. As the time for liftoff approaches, final preparations are made for documenting the most awesome display of power the team will ever witness. David Waters describes the experience. Well, I mean, any launch, watching any launch is extremely enjoyable. When you're sitting here three miles from the shuttle launch pad and you see that liftoff, you can't experience it unless you're here in person, but you get this burn in your retina as you watch the flame coming out the back and the first 10 seconds of that flame trail. If you're sitting there watching it with your eyes and then look away, you see this burn mark. And then if you feel the ground, there's that crackling noise. You'll see all the windows around you here at the Kennedy Space Center press site. They go like that and start rattling and people can even feel it on the ground. So any launch is such an exciting moment for me out here. I mean, I just get chills watching every single one. Today, hopefully the same thing. Yeah. 
The team gives their equipment one final check. One last restroom break is taken about a half hour before launch. With so few chances to witness something like the launch of a space shuttle, nothing is left a chance, as no one wants the experience to be marred by photo and filming issues or the urge to go during liftoff. By the time the clock begins to tick down from T-9 minutes, the team is prepared. All that's left to do is wait for these final few minutes to pass. With scanners and loudspeakers sounding with commentary at the press area, members of the media can follow the progress of the launch countdown and understand what is happening just three miles away at the launch pad. Though there's little to see over the tops of the trees, the towering fixed service structure and external tank are visible. At T minus two minutes, the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is retracted from the vehicle. Even from three miles away, this event is clearly visible to the team. In the proper lighting conditions, the shadow of the swing arm is visible as it crosses over the ET. T minus 90 seconds. With cameras rolling and ready, heart rates begin to skyrocket. And when we got within uh, about 90 seconds, that's when your heart just, just really starts racing and you, and you really start to think, you know, I came all this way, this is finally going to happen. This is, this is about to become very real. T minus one minute. Liftoff is all but certain at this point. T minus 31 seconds. The shuttle's onboard systems take over control of the countdown. The anticipation at the press site is peaking. As you go into the, uh, the last 10 seconds or so, you, you can't, where we were, you couldn't hear the commentary. You, all we could rely on is you know, what we know is happening at this point out of the launch pad. It's like, okay, there go the hydrogen igniters. Okay, there's T minus six, the engines are started, and that's when you hold your breath. And uh, from where we were, where we were standing for STS-132, you can see uh, you've got the big old tree line out in front of you across the water. And from the, there, you can see the top of the tower and the top of the tank. And you wait for that, uh, that steam cloud from the shuttle main engines. And when you see that, that cloud just rise, that brilliant cloud just rising over the top of the trees, you, you, you hold your breath and you wait for that telltale sign of liftoff, which is the SRB plume going off to the north. And that's when you know she's coming. Lift a holy... of discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of American Space Shuttle Team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Is it clear to One, two, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavor, expanding our knowledge while expanding our lives in space.
with an awestruck crowd below looking almost straight up at the vehicle and towering trail of smoke and exhaust, the stack begins an apparent arch in the sky, steering on course for its intended destination. With the stack visible for about two minutes, the team must be quick and gather as many photos and as much video as possible during that time frame. They won't get a second chance. Yeah, man, she is. My God. Oh my God. While it's true that no words can accurately describe the sights, sounds, and feelings of watching a space shuttle launch from three miles away, they can begin to describe the overwhelming emotions that are felt during the ascent and after the launch is complete. As the team returns to the press room for the upcoming post-launch interview, the feelings of those around are evident. Awestruck by the launch itself, media specialists take time to reflect on the experience with one another, review photos and videos taken during the event, and soak in the experience. While these images of the historic liftoff will soon be shared with the waiting public on nasaspaceflight.com, they can only provide a glimpse of what it was really like for those who were there to see man and machine leave the planet, bound for a destination in the heavens above.